So let's talk about Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Uh, the match itself was interesting. I okay, got Omos is improving a lot. He is, which I like. He is still lacking in the arena of uh, ring awareness, but with MVP by his side, definitely a more developed character. Right, and he is physically imposing, so that really helps. I'm, uh, here's the one thing that I saw with Omos in general is that I saw confidence. Yeah, he was more confident. He's a lot more confident here, and I think it was because it was not WrestleMania. Yeah. It's a much different stage, and I think him being him being in a match at WrestleMania as young as he is and in the business for as long as he was was not the right call. No. Because he wrestled a much different match here. He did. The pressure on him, I felt like it was an enormity. Yeah. And it's like if this was – if they started the rivalry here – we would be talking different. Yeah. Uh, but MVP including into Omas was good because Omas is, he's starting to get the promo, but yeah. MVP is good at, at um, masking a lot of that right. and promoting the guys. Bobby Lashley doesn't need that. No. He found the fountain of youth. Right. And apparently we need to schedule a fucking appointment to find Pretty it. Pretty much. Because like we saw him in college, it's like, it, it, that's literally Bobby Lashley right now. Right. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. Next match. Oh, and also uh, Bobby Lashley, no, Omos won yeah, with Omos a choke won. bomb. Yep. Yeah. So good job for him. Thumbs up entirely. I really like this. Yeah, I did too. All right, let's make this shipment just again. Peanut Gallery. Let's start with our first one on my list. Bobby Lashley and... Excuse me, Bobby Lashley and Omas. Omas needs some work. Yep. But I'm, I'm not going to deny that Omas needs some development in terms of the ring awareness, especially, um, and his 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 talking. His skills. his 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 move set is getting a lot better. Yes, he is improving. There is a very marketable improvement. Yep. Um, I think him doing the very minimal promo work is really benefiting him. Mm hmm. Um, not because he is bad at promos, but the fact that he is a giant, and mm -hmm. giants usually don't talk. Right. Now, he is very imposing, and he is. there is there is some speed with the guy. There is. I, I wrote him off, but he's getting better. He is getting marketably better. And I, here's my issue. I think they put him on such a different stage than I think he was ready for. Yeah. He's a lot younger than a lot of people think. I think he's only in his 20s. He's like 24. Yeah, he's really young. So keep that in mind. Him with MVP is perfect. Lashley did not need MVP, but Omas definitely does. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy that they actually made that change. I would have, maybe I would have done that WrestleMania match or WrestleMania backlash instead. We're gonna we're gonna have that a lot because there are a lot of these matches that were better at WrestleMania backlash than at actual WrestleMania. Exactly. This one, um, I'm happy that they waited till WrestleMania backlash yes. to do. Um, obviously the rivalry with McIntyre needed to end. And I yep. think, um, they actually did some good moments with WrestleMania to actually lead up to this match. So yeah, Moss is a star in the making, man. They do. They just need to get rid of this page boy. Like, oh, they gimmick. will, but, but he is definitely developing as a character. And I really enjoy, I, I you know what? I think, I think, I think happy Corbin's actually showing a lot of dimension with yeah. this rivalry too. I actually like Happy Corbin more with mm -hmm. this rivalry than not. So actually, there was a great benefit to this. I really wouldn't have done anything necessarily different. Nope, not really. Um, and also, number one, the promo packages really helped with context. It did. And I think that's what you really liked. Because I you did. don't watch the show every week I like I do. The, I don't watch the shows. This was awesome. Awesome. A great a great dimensional building. Better than the WrestleMania and, match. Right. And also, well, I did like the WrestleMania match, but at the same time, I feel like AJ should have won one of these. I think it would have been better use of the same thing. Like when Rhea Ripley attacked AJ and then have him and then have, you know, her being revealed as being part of Judgment Day, have AJ Styles win at Mania. Mm-hmm. With some bullshit, have Damian Priest attack him under like a hood or something, and join it the way that it happened there. Mm -hmm. We would have be talking about a different situation. Yeah. Because now it's like, okay, you're continuing a story where AJ won or AJ lost twice. Edge won both matches. What's right. the point now? Yeah. But uh, Rhea Ripley joining Judgment Day, perfect, 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 perfect. in every way. 
But I just need a tag team, and then it'll be good. But right now, awesome. I think it just fits so well. Yeah, it's like she like she doesn't she doesn't have to do anything different. No, she has a new look, which needed to happen, and I, I think they're committed to the Ray Ripley heel turn, which is exactly what they needed to do yeah, to really no, put herself in a different a tag position. Team like Alpha Academy, <clears throat> that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, there was a lot to unpack here. I liked the match. But at the same time, if you were going to stick with a certain match, commit to it. Nope. Nope. And that was a problem for me. Yep. Told you, weakest match on the card. Nope. It wasn't, it wasn't the weakest match on the card for me. I think um, despite me liking some stuff about the other one, I think Bobby Lashley and Omas's was the weakest match on the card. I think this one was stronger than some of them, but I can see why you believe. This, this match had the weakest story going into it. I can see that. The Very much the weakest now, story. Now, here's, here's the issue, and I think they should have waited for this match to be on a regular show, but they started storylines with this, and you don't start a storyline on a pay-per-view. You end a storyline. Yep. At a pay-per-view or a premium live event. It's a premium live event. I don't even know what a p- pay-per-view is. Peanut Gallery, I literally... For the show for NWA and literally for Triple Mania, I had to buy it. So <laughs> What's a pay-per-view? <laughs> <laughs> this was great. I thought this match overall in context was actually even better than the one at WrestleMania. Yep, it was. Because, number one, they actually added more context to the seriousness right. of this. And then also, I just thought they wrestled a better match. Yeah, they did. They wrestled a better match. There was a better, a better match. There was a better story. Yeah. And they're, they're going to continue with this story. Once again, why did Cody Rhodes have to win twice? And then also, I mean, even if Seth Rollins won, have him win some bullshit like it's not legitimate. And then right. nobody would have cared. Right. Then you end it on a good note at uh, uh, Hell in a Cell. Right. But and whatever. I'm I'm actually okay with it though because they had good promos. Yeah. They promoted it really well and I think I think the Miz at some point is gonna get involved. I think so too. Because it sounds like he's hinting at that, so Yeah, well he has to do something here. And let's talk about our final one. This was so fucking awesome. It I was. wish this should have been the mania match. This should have been the mania match. And it's so disappointed they didn't do that. Because well, number one, it <sighs> I, 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 once again, I'm thinking about like more like losses of opportunity than right. winners. Uh, number one, Ronda Rousey should have faced Becky at Mania. And then also, did we ever have a Charlotte Flair versus Bianca Belair match? I don't think we ever had. That would have been awesome. Both of them actually come from very similar backgrounds. That'd yeah, been cool. But, you know, we're all we're all we're all leading up to the fake but I, but title I, unification. But, of, uh, but, but the here's the thing. But but here's the thing. I will say these two wrestled exactly how they should have. And very yeah. no. Well, yeah. But also very brawly, very unhinged, and I thought there was good story. Now there was an indication with Drew Gulak with this rivalry, and I would have loved some interaction with Gulak with this match, but they didn't. Now, it didn't take away from the quality. It took away from the story, not maybe not the quality. Oh, you know what I hate about this match? I hated how um, the, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, referee had a little stupid fucking uh, uh, microphone. They did that for all I Quit matches. I know, but Jesus Christ. No, no, that's fine because that they, they well, literally... Well, no, what they, what they did, though, was they actually used the microphone as, like, other lines of dialogue and... No, I actually liked that dynamic. You liked that? I mm-hmm. did not like that at all. I did. I actually liked that dynamic. No. Is I, wrong, I really you're you're wrong. Nope. So here's here's why I liked it because we wouldn't have heard of I I hope you answered it that way, bitch. There was there was good stuff with that. I know, but they could have they could have the, enhanced the sound on that too. They well the problem was that it wouldn't have been good for the live fans. And I think what they did here was they added to the story within the match very subtly with the microphone because the microphone was but already they, but involved. They wanted to cater to the live fans too. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, and because they've always done that. Now keep in mind. Now uh, think of think of the classic I Quit match between The Rock and Mick Foley. They had the microphone. Oh, I know. 
I know they had the mic from. It was it was it was story. But, but I had, but it was I had, it was it was had, story I had, I had edition. Problem, I had a problem with the fact that the referee just gave it to whoever wanted to talk. You know what I mean? It, just, it was it was it was story progression. It, even even within the context of the match, uh, I thought it worked. Oh whatever. All but right. but well, here's the thing. I'm not gonna argue. No no. Here's the thing. I can see why you were frustrated by it, but I think they did it in a great way here. I don't know. I still think I I I mean overall the quality of the match was excellent. Yeah. And I think that's really all that matters. People were chanting, this was awesome. The back and forth, everything was really good. Right. And the crowd was really into it. So overall, this was good. I just really wish this wasn't the only fucking title match. That was oh, annoying. I don't have a problem with that. I do. I had a problem with this. Well, of course you did. I did. You have a problem with everything. Have, have a Raw Women's Champion match. Like no, tomorrow. Bianca Belair is, is a nobody. <sighs> Ow. Anyways, that's, that's mean as shit. Anyway, so next week there is no pay per view for the next like two weeks. Yeah, so we we'll, gotta figure out what we're doing. It's TBD. Hopefully, we fucking get on camera. I know. Hey, I didn't. I didn't even know that the camera was having an issue until literally twenty minutes before the show happened. That's true. So, so that's why that kind of happened. So when we come back, we will most likely have camera. Don't hold your breath, but we will you know. have camera. And I will be holding my breath, and you are going to enjoy it. Excellent, I think. So uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe, follow, become a patron, uh, give uh, pen- give Tiger Height a fucking thesaurus because apparently I cannot speak. Yep. And uh, if you think I cannot speak, remember to subscribe to the channels and share so with that your we friends. So that we get a dictionary. Yes, and as always, be majestic.